Hey there and welcome back to Dave Flynn Photography and today we're just going to do another Lightroom edit. Just a basic one. So open up your Lightroom, select the image that you want, the raw file obviously. And in this case I've got a picture of my pussycat. This is pause and we're just going to give it a basic edit. So I'm going to reset it back to how it was. Let me see, that's the original file. So straight out of the camera. And you can see it's got like a warm tone to it. So immediately I'm just going to stay in this top bit of the develop module and just adjust some of the sliders in here so first of all we're going to just go to the white balance we can keep it as the shot and adjust the um, color temperatures here automatically or manually if we want so I'll go to add shot click on flash and you can see that's kind of reduced the yellows in the image a little bit it's even moved the slider down to a nice cooler tone so then the next bit I'm just going to brighten up his eyes here a little bit and by doing that you click on the shadows and just drag to the right the touch and then it'll just brighten up the shadows a tiny bit you don't want to go too much because it might bring out too much detail especially in the eyebrow here so I'm just going to zoom back out play it with the blacks don't want to make them too dark. Just bring it up to about 17. And the whites are fine as it is. I'm just much And I think that's it. He looks kind of cute now. I might just alter his nose here a tiny bit. So we just zoom in on the nose and just bring up a teensy bit of pink in there that's it okay now we're just going to open the same file in Photoshop so let's close this down open Photoshop and here we have the same image and now I'm just going to make some minor adjustments in Photoshop the first thing you want to do is make a background copy so this is the original file here simply drag on the background and bring it into the new layers palette down the bottom and now you've got a copy so any adjustments you make if you really mess up you can just delete that layer and then start again so I'm just going to zoom in and I'm just going to brighten up his eyes a little bit by doing that you click on the burn tool over here and the dodge, you want to select the dodge one dodge is where it kind of increases the highlights in in the area so the area we want to select is the shadow you see this tiny little bit of shadow in his eye there so i'm just going to click on shadows let's set the exposure down six is good enough because the longer you press on the mouse button the more it will react with the image so we just want to give it a few quick strokes around the shadowy areas just reduce your brush size And you can just see now it's brightened up those darker areas in his eye. Now again we want to go into burn tool and again make some adjustments this time to the shadow area. We're going to burn them in so darken them. So reduce the brush size and again the same settings. I'm just going to paint over the black bits of his eye. okay and now back to dodge again and this time we're going to select highlights and I'm just going to paint over the highlights in his eye here the window light just to give it a bit more prominence same here on the right just keep clicking as you can see it just changes it so there's a before and after before and after tiny tiny little adjustments there if you want to you can go further into the image and change the tone of his his uh, nose here and just tidy up any areas that you see that might be stray or a bit wonky your cats are funny for having little wonky bits on them so like this eyelash here eyebrow 
whisker uh, needs adjusting so I'm just going to click on this one this is the healing brush tool and we just want to leave on spot healing it's only a tiny little area and just drag your brush down and let go uh, there you go it's gone and you can tidy up any stray little bits there you go and then a little bit there in his eye and a little bit there in his eye and now click on the screen and um, we're just going to fix this piece up here the way I did that is get the clone stamp tool and increase your brush size to increase your brush by the way you can either go up here and choose your brush size here or use the bracket keys on the keyboard and they increase or decrease the size of your brush much quicker so you one hand on your mouse or your tablet pen and the other hand on the keyboard and adjust as you need so here you what you do is just select an area of the image we're going to select this area so it matches or this area and press the alt key what that's going to do now is sample that area so we now have a sample big area so we can see that if we bring it up here it's going to paint it in one thing i did do is that the brush here you can see it's very obvious that i've just painted that in so undo we need to choose a soft brush this is a hard brush so click on soft brush and now sample the area Let's sample this area and when you paint now you can't really see so you can, the opacity here is set at 41 percent if you bring it up to 100 you're going to get this kind of effect and paint straight in reduce the opacity you can go back because the opacity is reduced you can just paint it in gradually so it kind of matches in blends in better so I'm just going to carry on with that paint around that area and then sample as you go reduce the brush size for the intricate areas around here and then finally just fill it out a little bit up here so it doesn't look so obvious okay we're done zoom that on a little bit it looks much better and then if you wanted to add more color and tone you can easily just select that same layer and change your color balance here you've got your level adjustments here brightness and contrast and hue and saturation so for example you click on hue saturation what it does is put like a mask on top which will affect every layer underneath it but because you want to keep the original background layer we do is hold down the alt key just above that layer there see and you press your click on your mouse and now any adjustments you make will only affect this layer here and the background one will remain untouched so again you can go in change the hue and saturation you can see it change in purple or brighten it up and make it green and go all abstract and make a crazy looking cat or you can just make it more neutral saturation again so you can bring up a bit more of the color but it's going to kind of bring the background back to the original shot and really make his nose red rather than pink so we don't do any of that too much so i'm going to bring it to about there and then any lightness you want to bring in just to make your color pop a little bit so increase it to three and that's it that's the final edit so you close this and usually i flatten the image unless it's a big file or one for a client I will save the file now as a PSD file so I can come back to it later and make changes but in this case it's just a picture of my cat on the sofa um, I'm finished I'm going to flatten the image now and that's it the image is now complete and done so you can go ahead and save it so that's basic image editing in Lightroom or Photoshop I hope you've learned something anything you want to ask just ask in the comments below please subscribe it's great to have you viewing my videos and thank you for your support Thank <laughs> you.